Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to draw a Aragora. I cannot say that name. We're going to draw a bird being from D&D. &D. <laughs> um, so basically these are humanoid bird creatures uh, that you can play that have wings, they have bird heads, they have human-like arms and bird-like legs that are kind of like a hybrid between a bird and a human. So mini drawing of them. is basic human body and arms. Give him the staff here. And then the anthro-like legs. and wings. So it's like a basic little sketch. So we're gonna attempt to take this sketch and make it bigger with proportions and everything so y'all can figure this shit out. <laughs> so, uh, first things first, we are going to look at bird heads. So I will bring up a search for eagles because I want to draw an eagle today. Although a seagull would be really hilarious to draw for these things. Um, they're a little bit different than kenkus. I think they're more bird-like, like kenkus don't have wings. Their wings are their hands and arms type thing. So cool. <sighs> So we're going to use, yeah, just a picture of a bald eagle here. So let's put her in a box. There we go. Draw in a box. We're going to do this for the head. So the cranium is going to sit in here. And then we're going to put another box to the side here for the beak. So we're going to want to put an egg shape that goes into the second box about a third of the way. And we're gonna do some profile. So then if we divide uh, the second box into thirds, you're gonna start the beak at the first little quadrant here. So, and it's gonna come down, out and down, and it kinda hooks in, then come back up. And down. So it's basic bird head shape. They have these strong eyebrows. The eye is gonna sit, so if we divide this into thirds again, the eye is gonna sit right on that first line down in the center. This is like the halfway mark between the ends of the boxes. The eye is gonna sit right in there. The beak is going to come back to just behind, like, line up with the eye. And then... You can slightly adjust all of this as well and push it back if you need to. Anyway, so that's your basic bird head um, broken down with boxes. Now to get a face-on version of this. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, here's one. Perfect. Right, this is slightly different. This is called a harpy eagle, not a bald eagle. But we are gonna use the same method here. So we have the box. We're dividing it in thirds. Quarters might be better. No, it's fine. Yeah, okay. We're gonna divide it into quarters because it's just a little bit easier. So we divide it in half, divide it in half, divide it in half. There, divide it in half there. All right. The upper one, easily divided by thirds. This one, because it's face on, it's a little bit more tricky. We're gonna do it in uh, quarters. Okay, so you've got your basic head shape here. Halfway mark, you're gonna have the beak and the beak is gonna come slightly lower than the box. So it's gonna be like an eighth lower than the box. 
goes down to these two points. So the quarter line here and the three quarter line at the <laughs> three quarter line um, at near the bottom. And you're gonna create this kind of a triangular shape, which you can adjust accordingly to get the beak shape. The nose is gonna sit in there. It's a little bit narrow and it goes like that. The eyes are going to sit right on the half line and half line in the first quarter line. So the mouth is going to line up. The corners of the beak will line up with the eyeballs at the center of the eyes. Okay. When in doubt, put it in the box. Alright, so we've got our, uh, this guy's got some plumage coming out the back, but we'll deal with that later. I just want you guys to get a basic idea for a bird head. Okay, now, that's our bird head. <laughs> We're six minutes in, that's the bird head. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video because it's a lot. Um, so when you're doing the wingspan, each wing is going to be about the height of the uh, bird creature, the Aracora. I think that's how you say it, Aracora. Anyway, so the wing will have the same distance as the height of the bird, and each wing is going to have that with the space between for the um, the critter. So that is going to equal that. The wings are technically going to be slightly longer because. Actually, no. Yeah, it's just going to be that and that. So the wingspan will equal two of the um, the bird bodies because they've got to support themselves. So that's how you figure out the wings. Do, 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 do. I just made that a lot bigger because I had screwed up the feet. Anyways, cool. So let's go over here. Okay, so that was your little tip on how to uh, build the wings. So for building the creature itself, we're going to stack the boxes like we always do. So it'll be neck, goes into shoulders, it's about half box there. We're going to put him on profile, so three quarter profile, put a box out there. You're going to have three box widths for shoulders, and then it'll be one, two and a half to build the rib cage, two wide, one deep for the pelvis, and the feet do that thing that anthro characters do where they kick back. So upper leg, two, lower leg, one and a half, bottom leg, one and a half which will equal out to be the feet. All right. So as we do with all the bodies, you just fill everything in, the arm again. Um, so the shoulder sits off to the side here. Uh, the bottom, the elbow will match up with the bottom of the rib cage. Hand. Hand. And then your wings are gonna start in the middle on either shoulder blade. So if you take the rib cage, you divide it in half, your wings should start at about, if you divide it in quarters, sorry, it should start in the center of the upper quarters on either side, and then you just pop your wings in, and they fold up. My easy trick for wings is look at the major shape of them. So they kind of do a triangle, and then they do like a half moon when they're kind of folded in. Or if you have them tucked into the back, they make kind of a trapezoid, um, almost like a, a curved coffin shape. And then they're all tucked at the back. So those are two ways to draw wings by shape. I'm not getting into feather design and everything right now. Sorry, uh, that'll have to, I'll have to do a video on doing like scales and feathers and like minor details on your characters. So, 
bear with me for when I do that one. Um, I will do some research on that. Maybe I'll make that the next tutorial video is how to like detail up your characters. So remember that the eye uh, sits a bit about at the half line and then the beak will come back like the corner of the beak which is the corner of the mouth will run with the um, be in line with the eye. Just makes it a little bit easier. And then they have feathers on them, obviously. So when you're drawing, give this guy a bit of a toga here. Um, when you're drawing characters, you don't have to do every single little detail. That's insane. Um, I know a lot of people like to do that because it's like, oh, look at how well my drawing is. But if you give it like a couple of minor detailing um, places where you show a few feathers instead of doing like outright everything, it gives you the feel of it without going into extraneous detail for things. So, now the bottom of the legs, this is kind of important. My computer didn't want to do a thing. Okay, so the feet portion, which is the bottom portion here, so you have like the femur, the upper leg, that's the knee, that's the lower leg, and that'll have the feathers on them, toga. And then the bottom portion of the leg is going to be very, very thin and will be bird feet. So three toes forward, one back generally for birds of prey. Um, it Two and two is the normal, I think, for if I'm not mistaken, it's two and two for birds. No, it's the other way around. Sorry. Um, bird toes are weird. Look at bird toes. Look at bird's feet. Uh, if I am looking at eagles correctly. Okay, yeah. Eagles have the three up front and then the um, one in the back claw. Uh, owls, I think, are two and two. Um, again, do your research, look at photography of animals whenever you're drawing anything anthro. Always look at the animal source and pull your details from that. Um, legs will have these little bands on them. It's like, they almost have like scaly feet, but yeah. And their fingers and hands will be covered in feathers, lightly feathered. Feathers and claws. So that's your basic breakdown for an aracorcra. I I'm putting an extra R in there. Aracocra. I can't say it. Anyways, it's this damn name. That. Look up that figure out how the hell to pronounce it and then tell me anyways um yeah so there's your basic breakdown um if you want to try different bird types this guy was kind of like an eagle if you want to try different bird types just look at the beaks of the bird and remember the first box will be the cranium and the second box you can measure out for how long like if we were doing say i have space somewhere and no, i'll do it over here Look at the toucan and show you the breakdown. Okay, a toucan. It was a great big mofo of a nose. So you've got the first box, right? Sure, you can see that. Yeah. Okay, and then you take that first box and you go out for a toucan. It's one, two. Yeah, it's about four boxes wide, right? So they have this great big long beak. So you just have to look at the basic head shape of the bird um, 
and then measure the beak off of that. So something like a sparrow. Yes, I'm looking at reference as I do this. So a sparrow, come here you, has a very large box and the beak only comes out about a third of the box. So you've got your, your little head and then the beak, which is that center line, just above center and below center. And then we go here, 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 and your eyeball sits about there. And it comes back and it almost hits the eye. So they line up anyway. But that's how you measure. You just, you look at the thing, you build a box around the main skull part. The beak will come into the skull area a bit. And then for the, how much it sticks out, measure from your box and then get your measurement for how far it goes out. Um, yeah, so if I took that and then it would be like the one, two, three out for the beak for the toucan. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use boxes. You figure out like your measuring point, so your first box, and then you take that and you kind of eyeball how far out things go, and then you can adjust it accordingly once you've got your measurements. So overall, I hope that helped um, you break things down. I know I kind of like went over a lot. Uh, just remember that the wingspan will be two times the height, and you should be good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I know there will probably be questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will address them either during my sketch video or during another tutorial video. Next week's tutorial video, I think I am going to go over detailing feathers and scales. Um, I know there are a few more creatures that I have to get to as well, but I also want to do, like, I think a detailing video um, will be good because it's something that you guys can work on to build your characters, make them look a little bit more craggy and realistic. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll chat at you later. Bye.